Hello everyone, this is Brittany with r and Windows, and today we're going to show you how to replace the 209 DLX awning operator with the 207 Encore operator. So here is the 209 Maxim DLX awning operator, and you can see trying to crank it close, it just spins and spins and spins and it doesn't close. That means your gear is stripped. Sometimes it makes a popping or clicking noise and it's time to replace it. So first you're going to slide back the clips on the arms to remove them from the black slider shoe. And if you need to replace those, that's part number 213. They come in packs of twos if needed. Then you're going to remove the sill cover. Now you'll want to be very careful when doing this because um, you don't want to gouge your wood. So that's why we're using a putty knife and a thin crowbar. And we're going to use that putty knife to help protect the wood because um, there's finish nails that's holding this down. So be very careful. If your wood is brittle, you are able to bust it really easy. So you only want to put it where the thicker part of the wood is and take it out. So take your time while doing this. If your windows are painted, you might need to score that line before you remove that sill cover. And now all you need to do when that sill cover is removed, you see the screws that hold down the operator. So there's usually about six or so screws and you're going to remove those with your drill. And you might just need to move the arms a little bit. Some of them sometimes are kind of hidden under there. So Take your time and take a look. I just have to move the arms around a little bit to find that last one. And so the 209 Maxim DLX operator, those have been discontinued. This is the gold tone color. We only have a little bit in stock and once our stock is gone, you will have to replace it with the 207 Encore, but it's a direct replacement, which is nice. Um, it fits right in there, just like the 209 DLX. And the Encore is the newer style that Truth makes. It's cast a little different, so it's he more heavy duty, holds the weight of the window better. And you are just going to put back in the original screws. There's a little more screw holes on the Encore, so you can use the different screw holes to make sure it's screwed down tightly if um, any of those the wood is stripped out where the original screws were. Feel free to use the different holes. And this is an awning window. You can tell that it's an awning window because when it cranks out from the bottom out and it's hinged at the top. A casement window is different and it has a different operator. The operator um, it's on the bottom like this and looks really similar when the windows close, but it has a different arms when you open the window and the casement window is hinged on the side like a door and cranks out. So once you have all the screws back into place, you're going to put back on your sill cover and attach the arms. So you might need to put on the handle to move the arms around and then you're going to uh, slide back that little latch to latch it back into those black guides. And so you might just need to move, move the arm just a little bit and then you'll see there's a hole in the arms that those clips go into and then you slide the little black clip back over and it locks it in place. There you go, you just slide it there, and now it's locked in. So it'll open and close your window. To put back on your sill cover, you can see that there's those finished nails. Sometimes you are able, if you're real careful, you can reline up those finished nails, and starting down on one end, you can just lightly pound them down with your hand. And take your time while doing this, and wear gloves. Um, if those nails come through, you can stab your hand and hurt it. So make sure you're wearing protective gear so you don't cut yourself. And take your time going down. If you break your silk cover, we can get replacement ones for you. It's sold in a six or seven foot piece, and then you can cut it to fit. 
and other times you can't get it back on without removing the nails. So here we've removed a couple of those finished nails and we're going to have to re-tap them in from the top down. And you do the same thing, you start at one end, we're able to line up just a couple of those nails and put them down in there. And then you're going to see Ron put the finished nails in from the top and then tap them back down in. And then just finish tapping them back down in so they're flush, so your screen frame or your screen can fit back in. And then if you needed to, those um, little shoes that the arms of the operator clicks into, that's on the sash of the window, they're black, Those that's part number 213, the black slider shoe if you lose them or break them. We do offer those as well. And so now the Encore, the, 20, the 207 Encore, it has a cover and handle and it just snaps on, you push it down and it clicks on to the operator. And then you have a nice nesting folding handle that it comes with. And so this is the new style gold tone color um, that there is, it's the closest match to the original 209 DLX Maxim Gold Tone. It's a little bit more green, but a close match. And when you go to put on your handle, you want to, when you fully close the window, um, you want it kind of facing down and to the left. And so that way it holds in your window tight because the older herd windows, the awnings didn't have locks on them. Um, so this will help keep your window locked down to place. And there's just a little set screw that you have to um, open up. And then you just kind of mess with your window. Close it all the way, see where your window, your arm ends up. You can see I didn't like how I closed it, so I repositioned it a little bit to see how it would do when it would close. And now it's closed nicely. So just play with it. And finally, I'll get it down to where I want it so it keeps that window locked into place. And then you tighten the set screw. And then your handle will nest right down into your cover. Once that's completed, you can install your screen again and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching.